glorify him, we glorify him, we glorify him. We are continuing to pray. We are continuing to pray. But before we continue, he taught us in the Lord's Prayer what is called the Lord's Prayer, which is ideally our prayer. He said, we need to pray and ask him to forgive our trespasses. To forgive our trespasses. To forgive our sins. To forgive our shortcomings. Wherever we miss the mark, we need to come back to him and ask for forgiveness. And this evening, I don't know how your week has been. I don't know what has gone through your mind. I don't know what words you've spoken. I don't know what things you've done. But this evening, you can come back to the cross. Come back to the cross of Jesus. But he is a caveat. He says, forgive me. Forgive my trespasses as I forgive those who trespass against me. That's a condition. In Matthew chapter 6, he said, forgive. Forgive and you will be forgiven. He came with a new law. The law of man was an eye for an eye. A tooth for a tooth. And we have Christians who, are, who, who live on that principle. It is, you touched my eye, I'm going to touch both of yours. You broke my leg, I'm going to break both of yours. You touched my child, my child I'm going to crush all of yours. That is not a principle of a Christian. And that principle cannot guarantee you forgiveness. Because your forgiveness is hinged on your ability to forgive others. Hallelujah. Therefore, right now, before we continue, there's somebody online. You have been struggling with forgiveness. Forgiveness. For some of you, it's your parents. Some of somebody is your mother. You need to forgive your mama. Without your mama, you are not here. That face is not here. Cherish that woman. Honor that woman. I know of a young lady, a young minister, who was discarded by mother. She was thrown away by mama. Mama did not want anything to do with her. But this young girl, she grew up somehow. <laughs> Lord, the Lord knows how to, you know, that as long, that's why he says, I knew you before you entered your mother's womb. Your destiny is not predicated upon your mother or your father. It's on God. Because he ordained you before. You happened in that womb. So this girl grew up. She got married. She has children. And listen what she did. She went back and looked for the mother who discarded her and built her a house. Not just a simple house, but a serious house. Are you able to do that? That is the power of forgiveness. And guess what? This young lady is tremendously blessed. So this evening, <laughs> I don't know who hurt you. Maybe it is a pastor. Maybe it is a fellow minister. Maybe it is your boss or your place of work or a colleague. Whoever it is, they do not deserve you to carry that load around. You are, carry, you are overburdening yourself. That is a burden that you do not need to carry. You know, there are many people who are carrying stuff that they don't, they don't have to carry. It is weighing you down. As a matter of fact, the other person may not know even how it is affecting you. It is affecting your spiritual prosperity. It's affecting your financial prosperity. It is even getting into your bones. For some of us, even the sicknesses we, 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 we suffer be, uh, as a result of unforgiveness. Notice I'm not saying all, all, all sicknesses are a result of unforgiveness, but some are. You need to let go. To receive from God, you've got to let go. You understand, child of God, release them. Release them. You need to be forgiven of God, release them. Mandelable, seek. You did not create them. You cannot turn them around. Just release them to God, their maker. Mandelebo shikara broseke. And forgiveness is like, you know, is like uh, uh, acid in a container. And forgiveness is like acid in a container. Guess who gets corroded the most? The one who gets corroded the most is the container in which that acid resides. And that is you. You are dying. 
And guess what? That person that hurt you, that you want to forgive, they are even prospering. You see them prospering, and you have you have you have you have, you have, you have started praying prayers of bringing them down. What is what's that? This evening, forgive, forgive. Your breakthrough is in releasing them. We're going to pray right now for forgiveness. Jesus Christ, the Bible says, He came to reconcile us with our Father in heaven. He came to reconcile you. And guess what? He gave us the ministry of reconciliation. Hallelujah. That's the, ministry, that, that's the important ministry that he left us with to reconcile with your brother. He said one more one, once, once so if, if, you are, if therefore you are bringing your offering at the altar and remember that you have got something against your brother. Your offering at the altar, your sacrifice, that could be your service, that could be your money, that could be whatever you are putting in the presence of Some of us are serving, but we are serving, we, our service is, is like being forfeited. Why? Because of unforgiveness. Just if you are coming to the altar and remember that you have got something against your brother, it's better you leave your offering at the altar. And guess what? Go back and reconcile with your brother. Go and make amends. This evening is an evening of a breakthrough. This evening is an evening of answers. But you know what? And many people are going to receive the answers tonight. But you do not want to be left behind because of unforgiveness. It's, it's not worth it. Trust me, it's not worth it. So forgive, release. Says, if you do not forgive your fellow men, my Father in heaven will not forgive you. That is a fact. That is a truth that was spoken by Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Therefore, in the name above every other name, Father, this evening, King of kings, O oh Father Lord, we come to you, my Father God. We know that men have hurt us, my God. Women have hurt us, my Father Lord. Some of us, it's our siblings, my Father. Some of us, it's our parents, my God. Some of us, it's the spiritual leaders that you put in place, O oh Father Lord. King of kings, O oh Father Lord, my God. Some of us, it's, it's, it's our colleagues at work. And Heavenly Father Lord, we have held them, O oh Father Lord. We have held them in our hearts, my God. And King of kings, this is weighing down on us, my Father. But this evening, my Father, we are coming before you asking for forgiveness but we realize that you will not forgive us until we let, low, we let go until we forgive our brothers until we forgive the trespasses of those people that have trespassed against us in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God begin to forgive them begin to release them pray for their grace right now pray for the grace right now yes I'm talking about you pray for the grace to forgive to forgive your mother to forgive your father to forgive your brother to forgive your pastor to forgive your colleague to forgive your fellow minister to forgive your child Mandelebosika receive it Receive the grace this evening. Receive the grace this evening. Mandelebo sikara brazoko ribrozandelebo. Receive the grace. Receive the grace. Receive the grace. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Mandelebo sa. Mandelebo sikara brazekeri yaraba. Release him. Release her. Somebody you were abused by your uncle. Release him. In the name of Jesus, release him. Mandele, it's not easy. It's easier spoken, easier spoken than done. But the grace of God is sufficient this evening to enable you to forgive. The grace of God is sufficient to enable you to let, let go. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, disentangle yourself from that mess. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, and move on. In the name above every other name, go to a higher level. Mandele, go higher, go higher, go higher, go higher. You can never go higher if you are still. An, an unforgiving person. You can never go higher. You always be pulled back by the spirit of un, un, uh, unforgiveness. But in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, this evening we choose and purpose to go higher. The, the Bible calls us ambassadors of reconciliation. Be an ambassador of reconciliation. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. For some of us, we are the cause of the trouble. We are the cause of the trouble. We trouble, we, we trouble the waters. We, we, oh my God, we make situations worse. We, 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 we drive wedges between people. In the name of Jesus, if that's you, we begin to ask for forgiveness and say, Lord, I am a peacemaker. I am a peacemaker. The Bible says, blessed are the peacemakers. Be 
Jesus Christ came as a peacemaker. You need to be a peacemaker. I need to be a peacemaker. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, Mandele Bosikara resign from that portfolio of putting people against other people, pitching people against one another. In the name above every other name, release, 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 release and resign from that portfolio. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, you see who takes words. You take words from here, then you rush and take other words from the other person. So you, 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 you are putting people in conflict. That's not a portfolio of a Christian. No. You go to sister so and so and you say words. Ah, did, ah, did, do you know? This is what she said about you. Then you go back and take the words to the other person. And you, are in, you call yourself a Christian. No. That is not Christianity. We are peacemakers. We are ambassadors of reconciliation. When you find brothers and sisters at loggerheads, you endeavor to bring them together. Peace talks. You don't, you, you don't glory in their differences. Some of, you, some of you are pastors. You can't even speak to another pastor. You call yourself a pastor. You call yourself a minister. I don't like pastor so and so. How, are we going to, how, how many heavens are we going to? There's only one. Let brotherly love continue. Paul says, let brotherly love continue. Let it continue. Let it continue. Jesus Christ says, the two commandments, the two royal commandments, summarizing all the ten commandments, love the Lord your God <laughs> with all your power, with all your energy, with all your strength. And then love your neighbor as yourself. Love your neighbor as yourself. You see, when you hurt another, it's like you're hurting yourself. You're inflicting injuries on yourself. And Paul, John says, you cannot say that you love God whom you do not see, whom you cannot see, whom you have never seen, and hate a brother whom you see. Some of us, some of us say, I want to see God. You want to see God? Take a good look at your brother. Take a good look at your sister. They are created in his image. They are created in his image, the image of God. You hate your brother, you are pitching yourself against God. Let brotherly love continue in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. What happened in the beginning? Cain and Abel hating one another. That spirit is still at large in the church. It's still at large in the families. It's still at large in communities. But in Jesus' mighty name, we refuse to be or put on the spirit of Cain. Refuse it, child of God. You cannot be used of God when the spirit of Cain dwells upon you. You cannot prosper when the spirit of Cain dwells upon you. Put on Christ, the peacemaker. Clothe yourself with brotherly love. He says it has been told you that you love, uh, you hate your enemies. But then he says, this is, this is the new law that I give you. Love your enemies. Love them. Love them. Pray for love right now. Mande boshikara brozende le bokura bababa. Let love abound in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. I am here. I stand at this pulpit today because of His love. If it was not the love of God, I wouldn't be here. The love of God surpasses. It, it, it transcends my sins. It transcends my shortcomings. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, the love of God. As long as the love of God infiltrates and fills your heart, you will have no room for hatred. You will have no room for judgment. You will have no room for, for, for hateful and forgiveness. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, pray for the love of God to flood your heart, to flood your heart, to flood your heart right now. Let the river of love flow. 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 That we will love one another 
another that will love one another that will love one another mande boshika rabrozika rabande le boshika raba pray for love pray for love wherever you are pray for love in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living god let love abound 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 in the name above every other name let love abound in our communities let love abound in our churches let love abound in our fellow men let love abound in our families let love abound in our places of work let love abound mande boshikara the love of god the love of god the love of god fill us my father lord fill us with your love my god fill us with your love king of kings that we may be men and women of the lord who are agents of your love who give love my father lord who take reconciliation my father lord in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god my god. God my God my God I need your love to flow through me my God I need your love to flow me Father Lord where hatred has bounded my father Lord I repent my God because that is not you Lord that's not a spirit comes from me my father Lord release your love mandele bosikara brashikara somebody ask for love ask for the love of God 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 resekeria raba sekeria raba that you may come to comprehend the breadth the length and the depth of the surpassing love of Christ in you in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God if you realize it and come to know it and come to be in fellowship with it you will be a love giver you will be a love giver there will be no time no room for hatred in you there will be no room for for grudges in you in the name above every other name yesha kariya rab you will be an ambassador of love an ambassador of reconciliation my god my father lord king of kings of oh, the lord we come to you this evening asking for forgiveness of oh, the lord of our sins my father the lord of forgiveness of our trespasses my father but we realize that you say king of kings ah we, you, our father in heaven will not forgive our trespasses until we forgive those who have trespassed against us those who have stepped upon us my father lord those who have abused us my father lord king of those who has misused misused us my father lord in the name of jesus christ the son of the living we release them oh father lord we release them because your forgiveness is far greater than us holding them my god of glory release 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 rasa kataka raba release your mother release your brother release your papa release your fellow worker release your pastor ya reba sekeria raba raba shanda raba kuria ramande reba release them right now in the name of jesus and tap into that river of love the river of love that flows from the throne of grace let it flow through you right now let it flow through you right now in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god mm mandele le boshika raba the same says in psalm 130 he says lord hear my voice hear my voice to the voice of my supplications the voice of my supplications <laughs> listen to what he says in verse 3 of psalm 130 he says if you lord should mark iniquities oh lord who could stand who could stand if god could mark or should mark iniquities who could stand you who is judging the other you who is hating the other <laughs> who could stand the last time i looked in the mirror i am still a human being and by the fact that i'm still a human being i am prone to making mistakes i am prone to stepping on other people's toes i am prone to saying the right the wrong things i am a human being you are a human being the person you are holding is a human being and god in heaven is the only one that has the authority to mark iniquities but listen he does not mark them verse 4 says but there is forgiveness with you there is forgiveness with god there is forgiveness with god there oh mandele bosika rabakura baba shandar some 130 verse 4 he says there is forgiveness with you child of god has forgiveness with god <laughs> that he may be feared that's how we fear god that's how we reverence him you will always reverence a person who forgives when a person forgives and let's go of a person who has injured them you have got to revere them it takes the spirit of the living god the spirit of reconciliation it takes a portfolio of being an ambassador of reconciliation to release another it's not easy. <laughs> That's why forgiveness, it says forgiveness is in him that he may be feared. 
Fear a person who forgives. Oh, Mandele Boshakari Arabosa. This evening, resign from that. You cannot end this service carrying that person. As a matter of fact, when we close, get to the phone or a text and text that person and say, Lord, I, I say, my friend, I forgive you. I release you. Papa, I release you. Speak to your mother again. Speak to your father again. Speak to your, to, to, to your, to your, spou to, to your spouse again. For some of us, it's your spouse. Your spouse. <laughs> and the devil is not going to use a drunkard or some place, somebody, some random person to get on your nerves. He always uses the people that are close to you. Release the man. Release your wife. Release your husband. Let us know who the enemy is. The person that you're holding is never the enemy. The enemy is one. We know him. He's called the enemy, the devil. He comes. He does not like when people are, are, are together. Look how good it is, the Bible says, when brethren are in unity. It's like the oil flowing from the beard of Aaron down to his trickling to the hem of his garment. There is a flow. The enemy comes to interrupt the flow. That's why you are, you are at, 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 at the neck of your spouse. You are, all, you are almost staring. Some of, us, you, you are, some of them some of are contemplating. Say, I wish he dies. Some, some, somebody's at the verge of, 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 of divorce. This evening, unpack your bags. Unpack your bags. Stay put. Stay put. The devil cannot win. Come on, come on. You cannot grant him victory over a silver platter. No. No. You are a winner because you are in Christ Jesus. You're in Christ Jesus. Take it to another. Go higher. Somebody says when they go low, you go higher. Go higher. Let us not sink with the devil. Come on, come on. He wants to sink you. He wants to take your children away. He wants to, 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 to remove a covering of your children that they may be attacked by the enemy. That's what he's looking at. This evening, that spirit of divorce is being broken in the name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. We break it. We break it. I break it off that family. I break it off that family. You have been contemplating separating. We destroy it in the name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. Who told you that a marriage is, 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 is devoid of, of conflict? It is full of conflict, but we overcome in the name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living not by power, not by might, but by his spirit. You are an overcomer. You are an overcomer. You're not going to be among the statistics in the name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. We refuse in Jesus' mighty name. You, you're not going to write off that brother. Some, you're about to delete him from your phone. You're about, you've got a black book on him. Release him. Come on. You, that's the enemy. You were friends before. You, 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 you went to, on holidays together before. My God, your children had sleepovers before. But now you don't want to see one another in the face. Come on. That is not you. That's the devil. Let us put the devil in his place in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, and step over him. One day, Boshika Robrozika. Love has got to win. The love of Christ has got to win. Paul says, The love of Christ compels me. I am compelled to love you. I am compelled to like you. I am compelled. Although you may, hurt, you may have hurt me, although you may have stepped over me, I am compelled by the love of Christ. Do you understand, child of God? It is a requirement of you a believer. Call yourself a believer. It is a requirement. The love of God must overwhelm you so much so that there's no room for hatred in you. There's no room for unforgiveness in you. That's what he says. If you, Lord, should mark iniquities, how many have you marked? I've got book upon book of marked iniquities. Have you looked in the mirror? I said, but in you is forgiveness. With you is forgiveness. With our God is forgiveness. If we love him, if we serve him, we must find that forgiveness in him for ourselves, not only for ourselves, but also for our fellow men, our fellow brothers, so that we may have a good vertical relationship and very good horizontal relationships in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Father, we give you the praise. 
We give you the praise. Begin to praise him wherever you are right now. Begin to praise him. Begin to praise him. Begin to praise him. Begin to praise him. We thank you, Father Lord, King of Kings, O oh, Father Lord, for you loved us. You first loved us, O oh, Father Lord. You loved us even when we are sinners. You loved us even when, King of Kings, O oh, Father Lord, we, are, we were unpresentable. You loved us and picked us out of the miry clay. You picked us out of the of of, the, of, of, uh, of confusion. You picked us out of alcoholism. You picked us out of prostitution. You picked us out of uh, of all sorts of sins, O oh, Father Lord, promiscuity, my Father Lord. You picked us out, O oh, Father Lord, of hatred. In the name above every other name you turned us around you cleaned us you cleaned us with your blood and for that king of kings we are eternally grateful thank you father god thank you jesus thank you father god we thank you lord we thank you